Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of the Black Star Series live here on Sports Corner GH and my name is Adam. In today's video, I have latest updates concerning the Black Stars as they prepare to play Mexico and also US of A in the October International Friendly Matches live here on Sports Corner GH. Also, I'm going to give a special update on Inaki Williams. Some fans are really worried about Inaki Williams and I'm going to talk about it live here on Sports Corner GH. Also, I have update concerning the USA team they have included a new player to their setup and you are going to talk about who that player is and lastly most of you are asking about the AFCON draw I'm going to give you the update on it live on Sports Corner GHO if you have not subscribed yet please make sure to subscribe if you have already subscribed to thank you very much and may God richly bless you on the Blaster series we give shout outs so guys if you find your name here I want to say a very very big thank you to you it's because of you that we do this I want to say a very big thank you to you but if your name is not here don't worry comment under this video and i'll make sure to bring your name in the next shout out list we do live here on sports corner g it's also don't forget in the month of october our giveaway is still ongoing comment under this video and any other video we drop here on sports corner g it and stand a chance of winning yourself a free jc of your choice very very simple please make sure to participate so guys quickly let's jump into it and talk about the black stars in october the black stars are going to play two international friendly matches on 14th of October, the Blasters will play against uh, Mexico. And also on the 17th of October, which is a Tuesday, the Blasters will play against USA. These are the two games the Blasters are going to play in October. And earlier this morning, GFA account on Twitter released an update concerning the Blasters. And this is what he says. He says that the head coach, Coach Chris Hutton, and his assistant coach, George Boatin paid a visit to the training facility where the Black Stars were prepared for their friendly match against Mexico on Saturday, October 14, 2023 in Charlotte. Now, you can see the video of where the Black Stars will be doing their training. That is Charlotte FC's training facility where the Black Stars will do their training in preparation for the game they are going to play against Mexico and also USA. And it's very important that the Black Stars, you know, use this facility. So the coach went there with assistant coach to inspect the police they went to check if everything is right before the players start arriving most of the players are not in camp but i can assure you that some are already in camp but then they are waiting for the rest of the players to all drop and then have a full house and then they'll begin training but i'm very hopeful that today the black stars will hold their first training section once you see the coach in usa just know some of the players are already there and then they are preparing the place to welcome the rest of the players now moving away from coach chris Houston and george watson Let's talk about Inaki Williams. Now, some fans are concerned about Inaki Williams. And the reason why they are concerned is that it is the distance Inaki Williams is going to travel to come to the Blaster camp in USA. And this is what they said. They said that Athletic is concerned with Inaki Williams accumulating 15,000 kilometers travel and 24 hours between planes. And then the forward is going to play against Mexico and also USA. Definitely, I just hope he scores a goal in those games to shut a lot of critics down. But this is what Athletic also continue to say. They say that he will also arrive on Thursday, which is also the 19th. So that means after playing after USA, by 19th, no, he has to arrive at team camp. And also, he has to hold a single session before Athletic Club play against Barcelona. Looking at the schedule for Inaki Williams, Athletic fear that if they don't use the player war or the player plays those so many games within that short period, looking at his travel schedule and everything, the player might be fatigued and might not be able to give his bets when he's playing the football. Looking at the distance he has to cover from Spain to the trainer, the, the, the Black Star camp, Athletic Club are really worried for Inaki Williams. They said he has to cover almost up to 15,000 kilometers and they are worried and looking at after the international break and him coming back he only has only one training session with them before they meet with Barcelona and they are worried about this and I think it's something that Inaki Williams and the athletic club need to discuss maybe they can come in that game and play some few minutes for them instead of actually starting and playing the whole 19 minutes because definitely he might either be jet lagged or fatigued after this busy schedule within the international break. So guys, that is the latest on Inaki Williams. Also, Inaki Williams has been included in the team of the week. Yes, Inaki Williams has been included in the team of the week. He's been so well so far for Athletic Club. After the last international break, I mean, every goal, every game, yeah, he's scoring a goal. So it is important that we talk about it. Inaki Williams is doing so, so well for himself. Now, 
moving away from Inaki Williams, let's talk about the Afghan draw that is happening this Thursday at Ivory Coast Abidjan. Now, most of you have been asking, what about the Afghan draw? What about the Afghan draw? Yes, what I know is that on Thursday, the draw will be made. And Ghana is likely to be drawn against teams like Senegal, Morocco, um, Egypt. I mean, there are big teams there that we could be drawn against. Algeria. I mean, I just pray the blasters get a team that would be easy to beat. Right now, football right, is not predictable. But then let's get a team that we you know we can play against, like hard hard. Because Senegal and Morocco really they are really playing some good football. So I mean, let's keep them. Get something like Egypt. Aha, uh -huh. Egypt said yeah, we can beat them because apart from Salah, I'm only sure that new player Gidi Gidi Biasa. Yeah. So guys, on Thursday it is going to happen. I will make sure to bring you all the updates live here on Sports Corner. So guys, moving away from the F1, let's talk about the last one, USA. This is an update on USA. Yes. USA has included a new player called Alex Zendangers. Yes, Alex Zendangers. This player is a Mexican, but he plays for the USA. He also plays in the Mexican League. Now, he's coming into the USA team to replace uh, Malik Tillman. Malik Tillman plays for PSV. Yes, Malik Tillman plays for PSV. And Malik Tillman is injured. So, um, Alex Zendangers is coming to replace Malik Tillman in the USA setup. So, USA are really shipping that in very well. They've already started training. Mexico and USA have already started training and they are preparing to face Ghana. So, guys, this is the few updates we have for you concerning the Black Stars and also their opponent and the games that we're going to play on the 14th of October and also on the 17th of October against Mexico and USA, respectively. Let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Charlie, we go vibe.